No audio. There we go. Well, I said hi to everybody. I don't know if I want to go through and say hi to everybody again, so just hi, everybody. Um, I totally did say all of your names individually previously, but uh, the time for that is over. I'm sorry. Hi, Epic Crab. You hear clicking. Hopefully, you also hear my voice. Yay! Yeah, I forgot to turn on the mic. Ha! So, for those of you that are new here, we are working on Alpha 19. Today I thought I would go through some of the bugs and also go through and I think... And show some of the features if people want. Uh, so let's check out the discourse. We'll see what bugs are present there. Um, are there any bugs people would like me to look into? The one I've been spending the entire day on was this like large trees appearing as spindles thing. Um, it is quite ridiculous. Um, we've had it happen once in house too. Um, Linda's acacia trees got replaced by um, then those acacia trees got replaced by bird baths. The Timo says, I had chests appearing as meat on my last stream. Yeah, that's not good. So the problem is debugging one of these things will require C++ and as you all know, C++ makes the entire stream uh, stutter. Master says if you click on bug reports, it will filter to just bug reports. All right, categories. Wow, these are crazy. I guess we'll just go to bug reports. Here we go, bug reports. Mm -hmm. Trouble removing design road. Looks like some of these roads are visually not removing. It says steps. Draw a road. Connect to another road. Erase everything. Ah, cool. Let's try that. Uh, thank you, Relis, for the awesome free pro steps. Steps like that are very helpful because it's like a step by step, like just do this. Draw another road. Connect it. And then erase everything. Aha! Alright. Alright. There's definitely something going on here. This is amazing, by the way. Super clear, super concise, reproduces immediately. Very good. Amazing. Alright. So her tests. Um, do I really want Rise Children build tests? Rise children empty. Uh, let's do a rise children empty from rise children build test. Um, and the reason why I want this is so you could just have an empty rise children biome. So here will be an empty test. And it won't have people in it. Place with we won't have a settlement we'll have some acacia trees we won't have any of the stuff nothing all right then hi Nario
Okay, so now we'll look at all the entities in the world. We have four parties, which are the, the four things here. Um, Acacia Tree, uh, no URI is um, the terrain object. It's the only object without a URI. And then one small Acacia Tree. All right, cool, good job guys. Let's do a custom floor. Eh, eh. Eh. Alright. And then we'll look at this again. We have five roads, two buildings, three fabricators, and three fabricator material proxies. Mmm. That's unfortunate only because this means we're not removing those buildings but maybe that's intentional so then we erase everything so when we erase everything we still have two buildings we still have five roads so fabricator material proxies okay so what's the thing that's here so you have an object that's here So, so the thing that's messed up is that we're not deleting these other buildings. So there are still two buildings instead of one because we tried to merge them and we merged one of them into the other one. I forget why we keep the two buildings around. Um, I'm trying to remember if that's just an oversight or if there was actually a reason because of undo redo. Um, so let's look at the merge code and it'll be in build services. Uh, build service, merge. Choose merge survivor. So we choose a merge survivor. Merge blueprints into. Merge buildings into, merge building into. So we get the build, move the blueprint, unlink entity, building. Hmm, I'm trying to think of the best way to go about this. Like, what's the best way to figure out? Um, what's causing this, right? So this is a cut away. Let's see if there's like a cut. Um, that, so something is rendering this, right? So is it a fabricator renderer? Um, fusion collision shape. Total mining region. Here it is. Ah, here it is. Remove terrain cut. So if total mining region, total mining region equals nil. If total mining region, if visible, add remove. Okay. Alright, so I think this is where it is. Where we have a fabricator that is rendering itself as having a terrain cut. Um even though the fabricator itself shouldn't really exist anymore. So here's three fabricators. We have the first one. Uh, select it. There it is. Uh, what's it look like? It has nothing in it. Region collision shape? Nothing. Cool. Uh, so then let's go back and look at the second fabricator. Select it. Eleven. Ah. Here it is. So this one has no collision shape. But it is rendering like it does. So we selected the second one. 
no, wait, no, that's my bad. So this is, th there were three. This is the first one, select this one. This is the second one, it's not selecting. Why is it not selecting? It's because we already zoomed to it. Okay, this one also doesn't have anything. Cool, so what's the third one? Third one is also here. Did I break the UI? Okay, let's look at the three fabricators. So we're looking at the third one. Third one. Ah, it's because it's selecting the uh, toggle select building subpart. Okay, so now we have selected this actual thing. Ah, here it is. So this one has a region collision shape still. So this one's a fab fabricator. It has a blueprint. This blueprint is a road blueprint. Okay, so this is the one that's busted. So, extraction data, building. So we need to figure out which one of these buildings has been unlinked. Two of them were probably building number two. This is building number two. Unit info. Building number one. So this is building number two. So we erased a portion of the building. And it knew that it had no more so like this fabricator thing knows that it no longer has a region, right? Like the color region is empty. The color region is empty. Total mining region is also empty. Is that true? Like, what if I made a new one? Like if I selected this, then I went to the fabricator, and I went to the color region. Mm. Blueprint. Because it clearly knows to like render this thing on top, right? So what is that thing? So uh, let me check out some comments because I'm sure this is very exciting work for all of you. Epic Crab says, wasn't there also something about growing corn becoming poyo meat? Yes, I believe there was, and I think that's kind of gross, but I have not seen the pictures of it. We can look up the pictures if people want. Um, corn? Poyo? If someone has a link to that discourse post, please uh, post it in here. The IVX stream says, first bug fix stream, I don't have any bugs reported, I still aren't fixed. Wow. Amazing. Uh, the Tivo says, I'm going to send you the save later today where dirt pieces somehow still render over building pieces. I can try to replicate it at one point. Okay, cool. That would be great. Um, fabricator, mining region. Get total mining region. Ah. So maybe we're not clearing out the total mining region correctly. So 
So what's total mining? Update total mining region. Uh, so who calls update total mining region? It is trace blueprint and project. So if we destroy this thing, it goes away. But if we erase this thing, it does not. And I get the feeling it is because when you merge something, it is because it was the old flooring that got merged. Uh, because when you put two floors together, um, it will try to combine them into one floor if possible. Floor type. Oh my god. <laughs> Meat really does grow on trees. This is amazing. Yeah, it is rendering the wrong asset somehow. I'm not quite sure how it happens, though. It looks like it might be a... Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. It, this seems to be new in Alpha 19, though, because I haven't seen reports of this. Like, I feel like reports of this only started popping up after we updated Alpha 19. So, but it goes away after you load it. And it seems to be purely from the rendering side. Like, the renderer is using the wrong model for this. This is definitely connected to the spindle trees. Um, yeah, definitely connected. <laughs> so add floor type. We're gonna merge blueprints in this region. Um... And we're gonna merge blueprints into remove our new region from existing floor. Construction progress. Merge component update color region. Merged floor update color region. Unlink entity entity. Hmm, this may be something that we pull up in the debugger. So we can do, uh, let's see, documents, Dakota. Oh man, anytime I have to load up Dakota, I'm like, please don't crash on me. This is a third party Lua debugger, which we have modified to make work with the game. And there are times it has been not very stable after we switched the Windows 10. Your Maxter says, do you want those topics merged? Um, if they are not already, I think it would be helpful to merge them. I think someone already linked this one from the other one, but yeah, it's... It's definitely related. The Timo says, it happened to me after I loaded from main menu to refresh the building. Interesting. Has anybody had this happen to them on first load? I think someone else had it happen to them on first load. But if um, if returning to main menu, excuse me, causes it to happen more often, that would be good to know so that we could, um, so that it would be easier for us to reproduce it. Because anything that makes it so that we can reproduce it easier will help so much. Unlink entity, add new floor from building. What happens if you unlink an entity? This is supposed to like, I think this is supposed to get the building, get building component. Okay, building component, unlink entity. So we remove this structure, but we remove a structure 
We untrace it. Okay. So we don't actually tell it to not render. Um, so what we could do is in the fabricator component, we could go self dot just to give us some information unlinked. It's false. Uh, and then here, removing that structure, local fabricator entity equals get fabricator. Fabricator for entity, and then function set unlinked unlinked set up unlinked equals unlinked set dot underscore underscore set variables mark changed. If we don't mark change, they won't get populated to the server for to the client, and then we'll have sadness because then we don't actually get the newest version of the data. Uh, so building component, go back to where we were, do this. Um, if we get a fabricator, then fabricator dot set unlinked true. Right, so fabricator set unlinked. All right, let's see what happens. She hisser says, new to Twitch, but this is really live. Are you really working on bugs in Stone Earth? Yes, I am working on bugs in Stone Earth. Uh, unfortunately, the building bug is not the most exciting bug to watch. Um, I should have come more prepared with more exciting things to watch. Uh, Attempt to index local fab, a nil value. Alright, cool. So if fab and... Really? Huh. Does that mean it's already been unlinked? So there was that error. The error says... Trace back. Uh, build service in remove structure build component unlink entity build service unlink entity 1409 1409 so it's unlinking this look it's getting the building so it's you mean to tell me that there is no fab all right then I am very happy that you are so excited about this she user. Um, I can tell you that uh, it is not every day that I get to hear someone so excited to watch me talk to myself for so long. Hmm. Well, this guy doesn't think it's unlinked. This guy also- oh, this guy knows it's unlinked. Okay. This guy doesn't think it's unlinked. Okay, so two things- two things are like, now nah, we're not unlinked. And then one thing is unlinked. Interesting. So the one that is unlinked Let's select it. No, wrong select. Uh, so this is a thing you can turn on if you want to be like, no, don't actually select a building. I want to just be able to select this thing. Um, F11. F11? No, F11. This is the 
unlinked object with a region collision shape. Do you have a region collision shape? No. This one's unlinked false as well. Do you have a region collision shape? Yes, you do. So which one is it? Ah, this one's you. This one is the one that's busted. Let's see, model origin, region origin. Hmm. This one's at transform zero, negative one, zero. So where's that? Zero. Y is negative one. Well, okay, that's relative to the building. Z is negative nine. Okay. Okay, okay. So this one, this one has no parent. All right, so this one, which is unlinked, is fine. Because it has, it has no parent, which means it's not in the world. This one does have a parent, so it is in the world. It has a region collision shape, and unlinked is false. So when we try to delete everything, we didn't delete this guy. All right, let's run it again. See you later, 8-Bit Crab. Uh, let me look at this. The AVX says, did they ever fix that template bug where if you made a template, saved it, and then modified the template, saved it again, the pivot wasn't updated? Uh, yeah. So we did not fix that. Um, I think it's because when you delete part of a building, we don't re we don't recenter the building. Um, we probably need to figure out the best way to do that. Cause one thing we could do is every time we modify the building, we go like, yeah, let's recenter it again. Um, but that's also I don't know if that's the right solution. So you make one, we make another one. All right, now we have two. We have we have two fabricators, right? Yes. So this is this is one of them, and then this is the other one, and they're both equally happy. Then we make this one. Now. This one is still in the world. This one is still in the world. What? This one's fabricator says it's not unlinked. This one's fabricator says it's not unlinked. So both of these are still there. And we'll look and we'll have a third one. And the third one will be 3609. And this one. So these were not merged together. Technically? Yeah, it looks like these weren't merged. Okay. Except this one's unlinked. Alright, so we added one. The new addition is not linked is unlinked so it's no longer part of the building and then it probably added it ah here's an idea we don't know how to add two floors into one with the third floor we probably only assume that you would do this and then you would add two add to only a single floor. So we probably don't handle the case in which you actually have, we probably don't handle this case correctly where you have two floors, you add a third floor, 
and then that merges them into one single floor, which means you technically have to unlink two of these. So one of these is not unlinked properly. Does that make any sense? It's hard to talk to myself with writing code and because I'm just talking to myself. The AVX says, so the template never saves the pivot, it's set the second you build. Right now, it's when you save the template, it saves the pivot. Why not recenter when you press build? That's an interesting one. Um, yeah, I could look into that. Um, there's like a pivot thing here somewhere that I would need to look into. It probably just centers it around the envelope. So we could probably do that. Um, yeah, so here's our dashboard of all the bugs and I will add one. I will add one that says it's a bug. A recenter building pivot um, on save template. We could just do that. Um, and that'll fix the issues. What is this importance? I don't know. Fixed versions, we don't really know whether we want to fix it in Alpha 19 or sometime in the future. Uh, if you merge two buildings, that moves the pivot to center correctly. If you destroy half of an, if you erase half of an existing building, the pivot does not recenter. Pivot after erasing. Uh, something like that. So the basic, uh, yeah, I probably should assign to me. The basic premise should be that uh, we want the pivot to be in a good state. However we get to that, we can figure it out. Uh, la la. Hi, Saren Dyers. Is that how you pronounce your name? Sorry, I'm bad at names. Saren Dyer says, how would you go about handling that case? Um, well, I think first I will read the code and see what the code is doing to see if my assumption about why this is busted is actually correct. So what do we do? We want to add a floor. So here's adding a floor. Add floor does calls add floor, which then calls add floor type. Um, so we get all of the overlapping blueprints. Uh, so I think I need to run this in Dakota now. Uh, do, 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 build service. Uh, add, ah. Wrong way, scroll up, okay. Uh, add floor type, there it is, and then we're gonna do this. Actually, no, we're gonna do it in the third one. So we launch the game. The Timo says, I think we'll start a new RC town. Yay, Rise Children! That is the focus of Riot. Rise Children update is indeed the focus of Alpha 19, so if everyone could help us um, test it, it would be greatly appreciated. All right, draw a road. Dakota is notoriously slow. Yes, good job, Dakota. Draw another road. That also worked. All right, pull out a breakpoint. We're gonna draw the third road now. Draw the third road. All right, breakpoint hit. Okay. Uh, so we want this floor region, one cube, so area 48, category road. All right, floor brush. Um, so inflate area by one, overlap, so this is uh, we want to look for box 
entities within one voxel of it. Um, so we make a copy of this region, so floor region overlapping blueprints. So we're going to get the overlapping blue blueprints, which is the blueprints in this region, uh, merge blueprints in region. Okay, so we get all blueprints in region. Um, so we do the merge filter. Um, this function is actually not named correctly because it's not saying merge blueprints in region. It is actually just getting you all of the mergeable blueprints in that region. Um, cause with the, the naming, it makes it sound like we are doing the merge right now. Whereas what it's actually doing is getting all of the blueprints that you should merge and then you have to handle the merge yourself. So, uh, naming in computer science engineering, very important. Actually, naming might not actually be that important in computer science. Okay, so overlapping blueprints. So we have these two. Yes, those look right. So we have two overlapping blueprints, right? So we're gonna get There was no existing floor at all, so create a new building out of floor toy. Okay, so now there is a floor. And we get to choose which floor, which building gets to survive. So we get to choose a merge survivor. So that will be 3165. Huh. Hang on. Choose a merge survivor. What did you do? Oh, that's the building. So choose merge survivor says, um, what does this function do? Choose merge survivor for each of the blueprints. If not best or ID less than. Okay, so the thing that has the lowest ID will be the best blueprint will be the best building. So you get the building for the best thing. Okay, that's understandable. Uh, and then we're like, merge all of these overlapping blueprints into this building. So what does that do? Step into it. All right, so buildings. Uh, for blueprint and blueprints, get building. 365, okay, buildings get ID for blueprint and building. 3366. So we do all the buildings have to merge into 3165. And this building, there are two buildings. All right, so we need to merge two buildings. Well, how do we do that? We merge two buildings uh, by if the building is not the building to merge into, merge building into that one, merge into building, container. Move only the blueprint. Okay. So we're merging into 3165 and our building is 3366. For every child, if the child is a blueprint, then we want to move that child. Uh, Add fabricator, old fabricator, clear blueprint. Okay. So the old fabricator should no longer have a blueprint. Mm. So one of the fabricators actually has no blueprint. We create a new fabricator for this thing that has a blueprint. What do we do with the old fabricator? Oh geez. Does the old fabricator does just stick around? Alright, so. 
that might be what the issue is. So show all entities, fabricator, 3453 I think was the fabricator that just sticks around. Um, and the fabricator itself has a blueprint. Okay, so that's not the right one. It's this one. Fabricator also has a blueprint. Fabricator also has a blueprint. Hmm. Do any of these point to the same blueprint? Yes, these two do. So they point to the same blueprint because when we say clear blueprint, we never actually pushed it to the server. So fabricator component clear blueprint. Yeah, yeah. If you do, if you assign to any variable that is public, you need to do stop that underscore underscore save variables mark changed. Uh, because otherwise, it won't show up in the client. So let's do that again, F5. See you later, the AVX. Yay, puppies. Ooh, Patches is here today. I can put Patches on stream. All right, these two, and then we put a thingy in between. Uh, fabricators. One of these, or I think two of these should not have, yeah, this one has no blueprint anymore. Um, does this one have a blueprint? This one has a blueprint still. And this one has a blueprint still. So it's two blueprints. And then we go, I'm gonna erase all of these. Still gone, okay. But at this point, we should figure out what's the one that's still alive. Is it the one without a blueprint? Um, because is this one, yes. So this one still has a parent has a fabricator. The fabricator has no blueprint. So uh, that means we go here and where's the blueprint? Uh, fabricator data, get data. Uh, so we would want to trace, fabricator trace, if visualize progress, let's visualize progress. Ah. Hmm. Okay. Okay. There is the old fab. Where are we looking at with the old fab? Old fab. Build service. Add fabricator, old fab, get component, fabricator, clear blueprint. We need to manually attach old fabricator, blueprint will be destroyed when the fabricator is destroyed. Okay. Um, but this old fabricator is parented to, the old fabricator is parented to the shoulders. It's parented to a building. Which building is this? It's building number two. Okay. Um, what's this fabricator parented to? Mob. It's not parented to anything. Right, because it doesn't exist. This one's parented to building, building number one. So which one is alive still? Building number one, building number two, building number one. <laughs> building number one is complete, you guys. All right, so both of these buildings are still alive. We've just erased. So this was the one that was created second. Building number one would have been chosen to survive the merge. So building number two needs to go away, which means when we get the old fab, the old fabricator, 
but we clear the blueprint. Right, okay, we need to run this in Dakota again. I'm trying to figure out what's the best way to get the old fabricator out, um, because the other building still exists. And the other building still exists because we need to be able to undo redo. Um, but if we come, so this is a thing that's fundamentally like, in my opinion, wrong with the way that we do a lot of this building editing stuff, which is like, I think our undo redo implementation is not the most robust, right? And I think a lot of you guys have noticed this, um, where it just sometimes doesn't undo redo the way that you want, where it forgets that it should have remembered to undo things. So my question is, do I need to keep both of these buildings around? Because this is building number two, this is building number one. They're gonna both merge into building number one after, when I do this. So then what do we do with building number two? Because when we merge the buildings, we add a fabricator to the child from all, so every building So then we unlink the building. How do we unlink the building? We unlink the building. Get building for entity building. If building, get component building. Unlink entity building. Uh, remove structure. Uh, what happens if we remove the building? Get fabricator for building. There is no fabricator for the building. Um, yeah, so this code... Where we're trying to unlink the entity of the building doesn't do it correctly because the building probably should be removed from the world. Um, remove structure, remove structure, building unlink, build service unlink. So the undo doesn't unlink entity as well. So here's what I'm trying to prevent, which is if you undid this, the building should go back. Um, and I need to look at the undo redo service to see how it works. So unlink entity. Uh, so you get the mob, you get the parent of parent, get component entity container. Remove it from its parent, leaving it hanging in space. Okay, so when we do the undo unlinking of this building, right? It should remove it. it has a mob, it has a parent. Parent is um, terrain. All right, so let's mob get parent now. Okay, so we have no parent now. So the building has been removed from the world. It has no fabricator entity. It has no fabricator. Unlinked entities building. Okay. So unlink the road blueprint as well. Okay, great. Um, so of these two buildings, there should be one fabricator that has no blue has no blueprint. Okay, these two both have blueprints. The third one. The third one also has a blueprint. Hmm. So 
This one's unlinked, which is that one. Both of these are still alive. Both of these still have... It's this one parented to. It's parented to that thing. It's this one parented to. So they're both parented to building number one. This one's building number one. And this one is also building number one. So both of these are parented to building number one. Um, let's see, select it. Okay, so that's one. Select this one. Oh, that's the building, oops. We want to select this fabricator. Uh, no. Um, select this thing. Okay, so this is... This is the fabricator. Oh, I have two that are the same. What? Did I never select the first one? 3452, 34... 3561, 3453. It's this one. Okay, yeah, this one does not have a blueprint. Okay. This one is parented to this guy, which is a building. And this building is probably building number two. Yes, this is building number two. Building number two is not in the world. Okay. So this might be a problem with our fabricator because it doesn't know when the fabricator rendering render tracker push visible state So how does it know? How does a fabricator renderer know when it's been removed from the world? Because clearly this thing isn't rendering anymore, but it's probably still doing a terrain cutout. So how does it know that it's not rendering anymore? Uh, So probably somewhere in here, the render region change callback says update region. So yes, let's go to fabricator renderer now. So this is on the client side. So we have a client and a server. Fabricator renderer. What are the comments saying? Hello kills. When it's the building a building that's halfway done, sometimes you get two windows in the same spot. Ooh. That's not good. It might be because we don't undo the request for that window to be placed. If you insta build it, that's probably why. I'll put keep that in my log. Timo says, can I expect an appearance by Yang tonight? Uh, I will try. I will try. Blueprint trace. Construction data trace. Okay. Let's try this again. Yeah, I, I snap out after a bit to look at the chat. I apologize. It's... I don't know, I guess it's a trade-off between how much I interact with all of you versus how much you all want me to fix this bug. I could just totally sit here and talk with all of you if that is what the chat desires. Um, I myself am 
very prone to getting deep into things, uh, especially with bugs. Hi, Bob Jones. Okay, so there's two of these. Gonna merge them. So what does the clear blue point do? Unlink building. Unlink. Unlink. Render tracker. What is render tracker? Ah, push visible state. So and who is this? Self. Um, self dot underscore blueprint. Let's take some notes. Okay. Self dot underscore entity. So this is a road fab. Thirty thirty four fifty three for thirty four oh five. Okay. Thirty four fifty three visible is true. set ourselves visible. Update region. Mm. And then if we erase all of these, update region, we have no region now. So what if we did so if we did this, okay, the region, okay, and if I erase up the region, okay, so I destroyed and then where is the mining call? This is in the destroy. So I add a thing. And then I erase a thing. And the region is nil. Who removes the terrain cut? I didn't see the terrain cut being removed. There it is. If visible. Ah, so now we're no longer visible. Why are we no longer visible? Fire async triggers. Construction render track. Okay, so that's a callback to remove the terrain cut. So I'm trying to figure out where in the code it is that actually removes this guy when I undo. Come on. Hmm. We're supposed to remove the terrain cut. 
who does that? Okay. Wow. It doesn't actually remove the... T There's no call to remove terrain cut. Unless there's a... Floor editor, road editor, fabricator... It's also possible that C++ is doing it behind our backs. So you have a console, you have a small stone hearth window, and then you want to see terrain, erase, nothing. Mm. There's no log of even the render destroyed. Maybe the removal of the terrain cut happens because the building is no longer there? Alright building, what have you got? You have one structure. It is a road. It's connected to nothing. The entity. It's a road. Uh, it's a fabricator. The fabricator is connected to this guy. The region collision shape is empty. Ah! When we erase, we remove the terrain cut. Okay, so that's why. We never actually call remove terrain cut. We just update the region. Because um, the region is empty, we don't have to do anything because the terrain cut is linked to our mining region. And our mining region... gets changed to empty. So total mining region is updated to here. Okay. Blueprint CD construction data trace data render unchanged. So construction data. Uh, render. Visualize progress true just so we'll get this trace and um, uh, if not self at underscore if not data dot blueprint then we can write out a log statement.
that says no blueprint in fabricator anymore. See you later, the Timo. All right, so now we'll do this. Does it print? No, it does not. Visualize progress. Ah, because I turned it off. Visualize building progress is just true all the time. We're good. Run it again. Bambino 2K says, totally off topic, but what's the team's idea of what to do with water other than looks? Uh, we would like for water to be integrated into gameplay somehow, um, but of course the first thing we're trying to do right now is to actually make it work in most cases. Here it is, no blueprint. Blueprint is no longer in the fabricator. This would explain a lot actually, because we have a lot of fabricator components that on load are like, there's no blueprint! Um, so if there is no blueprint, and we're not even part of the world anymore. Jeez. Um, let's just remove our terrain cut. Let's see if that fixes it. The Gaming Bison says, are you doing PHP 2? Uh, no, thankfully. We do not have a PHP system. All of our stuff is actually JavaScript. Um, we don't actually have a server that we're talking to, uh, which is good. There we go. No blueprint and fabricator anymore, so then the cut. Yep. All right. Cool. So that's what that bug was. Unfortunately, it is um, more complicated than that uh, because this fabricator render on load is going to assert that there is a blueprint and there isn't a blueprint. Right? Like, we're going to save this. And we're going to load it. And it's going to be very angry with us. I assume. Oh no, apparently it's not angry with us. Well, that's good to know. Um, so why is this fabricator renderer not recreated? Hmm. Well, that's a question for another time. So yeah, anyway, that fixed it. Um, I need to speak with Chris about a good long-term fix for it because this is like an indicator of something that's like just not working the way we wish it did with our system. Oh, it went come back. It came back because, um, oh yeah, we should nail out our total mining region. Um, because we just never want it to be there anymore. It's, it's just not. <laughs> we should, yeah, so let's try that again. La la la. Empty it. Okay. Open, close, open, close, open, close. It's gone. Great. All right. Uh, don't thank me just yet because this isn't the correct fix, but it is a good indicator of what's going on. I will talk to Chris tomorrow and we will both talk about the best way to fix this, which may actually involve like, who knows? Um, it could be days before we get to what the correct solution is. Because ultimately what I want us to examine is like with the um, build servers, the old fab, like what this, I think we need to do more than just this. Um, and also like how to tell the renderer that it should stop rendering, um, all sorts of things. All right, well, that is it for me today. I am sorry that that was not the most interesting thing to watch. Um, some of the bugs are more fun to watch than others. But uh, yeah, I mean, at least now you know. Wow. Ah! Oh, oops. I just made it, I just made it into one big thing. Uh, well, it's still on dues, so that's good. Um, Could have gone way worse. Hi, Wise. Hi, Bruno Supremo. Bruno Supremo says, what other tree? The unused palm tree? Oh, you're talking about the archipelago mod. I see. All right. 
Well, I am glad some people enjoyed watching me talk to myself about why the code is crazy. Uh, as always, it is a pleasure hanging out with all of you. I'm sorry I didn't get to uh, most of the chat tonight. Um, hopefully next I, next time I will choose an easier bug to work on so I will have brain cycles to evaluate what people are telling me. All right, well, have a good rest of the evening or day wherever you are at, and I will talk to you all next week.